हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी जीसीपी गुड क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस ऑब्लिगेशंस ऑफ स्पॉन्सरर्स राइट सो दोज आर दी स्पॉन्सरर्स आर द कंपनी और द पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल्स इट मे बी दोज हु हैव इन्वेस्टेड द अमाउंट फॉर द क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स सो व्हाट आर द ऑब्लिगेशंस व्हाट आर द चैलेंजेस दे विल बी हैविंग बिकॉज व्हेन यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग योर ओन मनी डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू बी कंसर्न and uh, the all the risk is going to be yours only right so let us try to discuss uh, gcp obligations of sponsors right so sponsors are the company or organization which conducts uh, which conducts a uh, clinical trials right of the new investigational drug of new chemical entities on to the human volunteers so what are the information they are supposed to bother what are the challenges they will be having first of all quality management ultimately the chemical entity it has to be very much concerned with the quality because quality if it is good then only we can have the better result and further the drug can proceed right quality assurance and quality control throughout the process entire from the right from the beginning phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 uh, because those drug has to be in, come into the uh, particular doses form and uh, it has to be tested and given or administered to the human volunteer so during those process there should not be any quality compromise that's what it's very important third one contract research organization right so uh, uh, the particular sponsor they will be having uh, uh, contract with the different research organization so that uh, uh, they are going to conduct the clinical trial into their space their hospital their uh, beds uh, and uh, all the uh, hospital facilities supposed to be there the, uh, the sponsor they are only investing the amount okay medical expertise it is very important if you are going to the hospital or if you are maintaining one small hospital there should be the mbbs md or different specialization doctor supposed to be the physician supposed to be there then only they will be take care about the patient those who are taking the new drug then uh, trial design because in phase 1 what is the number of patient what is the age group what is the uh, what do you call uh, their uh, male female and all those things uh, designing randomization design there are different uh uh protocol or procedures uh, for the clear trial design trial management data handling and the record keeping of course trial management that how long it is going to be like it is for 10 days 20 days one month two month and uh, the uh, data handling whatever the data is being generated because data only it is going to tell the entire story what the drug is uh, acting into the body the kind of side effect the kind of adverse event and all those thing and those record has to be achieved and keeping uh, in the proper way so that it can be uh, get in future suppose if it is required investigator selection is very very important because investigator are the persons who will be uh, onto the field they are the real hero who will be there along with the uh, patients and uh, what is happening they are going to note down and uh, ultimately they are only reporting to the institutional review board uh, financing is very very important the sponsor has to finance each and everything whatever the expenditure it is required uh, right from the small needle to the big big room bed and uh, all other things right the confirmation of review by irb and iec the institutional review board or independent ethical committee these are the board which is re, uh, reviewing and with that review whatever the decision it comes it will be confirmed by the sponsor only ultimately because it's the uh, he is the uh, he is the uh, one who has invested the 10th one information on products right so it, it they have to uh, be bother about the uh, what are the information the kind of uh, solid doses from liquid doses from what is the adverse effect what is the contraindication food drug indication all those thing has to be record access also uh, they will be having right and the safety information about the drug what is the kind of uh, safety measures that that we are getting into the phase 1 trial actually then adverse event reported in phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 itself uh, uh, it is be bother about the side effect definitely we are expecting uh, more focus on to the side effect or adverse effect uh, rather than the Uh, effect uh, monitoring and audit the monitoring of the entire process and the audit of the information gathered uh, onto the clinical trials uh, that is also the challenges or obligations for the sponsor so uh, sponsors are the person who are the organization or the team who will be more concerned about this thing because uh, ultimately once uh, the clinical trial will be successful into the phase 3 it will be launched into the market and the benefit is start from there onwards so they are uh, they have to bother right so these are the obligations uh, to the sponsor or for the sponsor thank you all